probably looking at this wondering why I'm on the player performance screen. And the simple answer is 94 team of the season for am. I was not going to record a player review on this card just because, you know, I'm, I'm playing my champs. I wasn't intentionally going to buy him. He was like a, an impulse buy. I lost a game. I was annoyed. So I went and did what any normal person does that rages at their game and buy a replacement for one of my players. And I got Furam, the new 94 team of the season Furam. I picked him up for about 800k, played a game with him. Um, two games, in fact. I've, I've just played the second. And this card is absolutely insane. He got an 8.1 rating out of 10 with zero goals and zero assists. If we look at his defending, he had, you can just see it below my webcam, three out of eight stand tackles. One doesn't seem great, but I mean, the amount of times you go in for it to try and predict the passing lane gone for a tackle. But three tackles, one, seven interceptions. He doesn't have any interception play styles, but seven interceptions are three out of five offensive duels one 100% success rate with a defensive duels he won four out of four defensive duels two out of two aerial duels honestly man when you drop an 8.1 an 8.1 with no goal or an assist, you know you've got a great card on your hand. So here I am, boys. We're about to take him into a game so I can show you guys how good he actually is. Um, as I see a little bit of a different start to the usual Furam review. If you guys want cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to MMOEXP.com. Use my code Davis at checkout for 5% off your order. Coins are incredibly cheap and with team of the season here, there's no better time to pick some up. The links are in the description. Now we picked him up for 830,000 coins. He's six foot four. He's an absolute giant. High, high worker. Four star skills with a five star weak foot. Uh, stats wise, he is in club 93, 90 stats, a 92 stat, a 91, and a 95. I mean, just looking at that card, it looks sublime, absolutely insane. We went for an engine chemistry style, which gives him a little agility and balance boost, along with a little pace and an even better passing boost, which is a little bit unnecessary. As I said, he doesn't have a regular intercept, but he did get seven interceptions in one match, which is just insane. Uh, play styles wise, play style plus is He's got some great play style pluses. Pinged pass is very good. Tick attacker is very nice and also relentless. So he gets that fatigue or stamina recovery during half and full time, which for a midfielder is awesome. He's got the technical if you want to drift forward, but he's also got the anticipate regular play style, the long ball pass. Uh, jockey is good and bruises. So play styles wise, 10 of them, and they are all very, very good. I don't see one play style here that is not beneficial for the role we are using him. Now we did use him as a number eight, a box to box midfielder. Fielder. My left CDM being Declan Rice as a cover centre stay back, Furam as a balance. With Declan Rice or my left CDM being as a stay back, it allows Furam to kind of be a bit more of a box to box and, you know, go forward a little bit, but obviously also do a lot defensively. And I think that's how you want to use him with the high, high work rates. I'm going to take him in to my fourth game with him, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, fourth game. Um, and I'll just showcase some highlights for him for you guys so you guys can see the true power of this Furam card. Buram, that's basically an interception. Yeah, we'll count that as an interception. Kind of ricocheted off of him. We didn't get control of it straight away, but we got there in the end. You'd swear he's got like an intercept play style plus. Seven interceptions in one match is honestly crazy. Back with Furam now. We shield it. Use his six foot four body type to, to kind of shield it. Once again, kind of just trying to find an opening here. Diani to Son, back to Diani. Diani, you got to finish that. That's beautiful. Furam heavily involved in the build-up in the midfield there. 1-0. Furam time that. He's got the over the top to Diani. Diani, can we finish it? That was a very underwhelming uh, finish from Diani. I thought she might have contextually gone for a, uh, a Travala there. Another interception for Furam. He's literally doing everything. Giving over the top balls to Diani one minute, and the next minute he is intercepting it. As always, Kylian Mbappe, Havertz, Rice, Furam pushed up a little bit as he should be. Give it to Son. Son can't quite give a technical. He's everywhere, man. High, high work rates as well. Feels very good. Feels very agile for a six foot four player. Very, very agile. If you guys have used that Kai Havertz Tots card, it's probably the best way to describe it in terms of he's very tall. And at the same time, he also feels quite nice. You're used to taller players feeling clunky and heavy on the turn. But no, Furam feels very good with the ball at his feet. Left stick dribbling, he feels very, very nice. Oh, and it seems my opponent uh, quit the match fair. He couldn't handle the smoke from Furam. Let's jump into the next game. It was enough to showcase kind of what he can do, what I mean with the box-to-box -box role, demonstrating just a little bit what he's about. Let's get into the second game. 
Buriram quick pass to Kataka. But to Kataka in the midfield, you know, you're getting closed down. Quick passes under pressure. Very, very handy. Buriram, six foot four. You can count on him to win an aerial duel for you. Buriram to Son. Son with the turn. Can't get the shot away though, but Thuram, very nice. Almost nabbed an assist there. Thuram, good ball to Lucas Vazquez. Lucas Vazquez to Bruno. Bruno was awful there. It took so long for him to get that pass through. But we're lucky Thuram wins it back for us with an interception. Back to Thuram. Mbappe, we're going to scoop around. Not quite a scoop, but we get the shot away. It's a goal. Thuram got the interception for us to get back possession after he had a very nice pass to Bruno who lost us the possession. It is a Thuram carry job in the midfield right now is basically what I'm saying. Thuram, big touch around to Diani, the standard. Young Min Son has stayed on side. See Bruno, we're gonna try time that one more. Oh, that is a goal and a half. That is a goal and a half right there. Damn, I'm, I'm even impressed with myself for that one, boys. Graham wins it back. Oh my god, in the last second, ladies and gentlemen, 4-3 for 120th minute of extra time. I think my opponent's using all of his pauses to waste my time. He was one of the most sweatiest players I've probably played. I had to fully lock in. I wasn't talking. I was probably breathing like an obese pug. I wonder if my mic even picked that up. But when I thought it was over, Buram wins it back, gives that assist to Diani, and it is the winning assist. It's magical. I wasn't even going to do this review. He was so good in the game I played. I, I was like, I have to do a review. And he's gone ahead, he's intercepted it, and he's just got the 121st minute winning assist. My opponent is using all of his pauses because I heard his ego. Ladies and gentlemen, what a card. Furan has just won me this match. Ah, it's like a fairy tale, man. That ending, his last touch of the ball for me in this review was an assist. He's 100%, usually when I do a review, I usually sell them again after, um, but no, not Furam. He is 100% going to be staying in my squad. We picked him up at 830K. He's about 895. He was just obviously a little bit over 900. So he's gone up about 70K, might be around 800, 700, or he's gone up again by the time you're watching. But hey, with an engine chemistry style as a box-to-box -box midfielder, this card is going to be absolutely incredible for you. Uh, interceptions, where's his, where's his interception stat? 95 interceptions, which is probably why he had a lot of interceptions for me, despite no interceptions play style. The technical, if you want to drift forward with him, is nice. Not a player I'd necessarily recommend doing too much uh, technical control sprint dribbles with. He's not that type of player. You can get the ball with him. You can definitely left stick dribble with him, and you want to use his body type to shield the ball and hold position. His passing is insane, especially with that tick attacker play style plus and the pings pass, specifically that tick attacker in tight positions. If you're a opponents pressing you this is a very press resistant play style plus so if you're winning your opponents chucks constant pressure on or his instructions are constant pressure then that tick attack it is huge the long ball pass as well l1 through balls or over the top through balls lobbed through balls i think is the actual name of them um they are very very good as well jockey definitely helps with the interceptions and anticipate we all know how good that is this card felt like it was a two three four million coin card let alone a nine hundred thousand coin card for me he gets a massive thumbs up up and I think you'd be silly if you have the coins and you need a box to box if you need a midfielder a holding midfielder I think you'd be silly not to look at this Furam card hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next one